Okay, so as an iOS user and an Android device user, I thought, you know, there's some great apps that I have on both of these phones. And so I thought, let's do the top 10 apps that you can pick up on your iPhone and on your Android device. So let's just jump into it. Oh, and by the way, guys, I started out this new channel. It's like a filmmaking kind of photography style channel. If you're interested, link to that will be down below and also a link to the top Android apps video if you wanna actually go see that dedicated video. You can link is down below. So the app number one on the list is called Liquid Teardown. Basically, this gives you a look inside your device. So whatever the internals are of your phone, this app will display them. And it's an always on screen, basically when you plug your phone into charge, and it's gonna show you your charge percentage through this like wavy effect. It's gonna fill up the battery as your phone battery charges up. So you can change the device. So obviously it's available on the iPhone, but on Android, there's a bunch of different devices. So you can go ahead and actually choose specifically which device you want to appear. So say I want the S20 Ultra, that's gonna be the outline of the internals on the S20 Ultra. But there's a bunch to choose from. There's even some universal ones. And there's quite a lot of customization options. You can go change the battery color, the battery percentage color. You can turn on incoming notifications. So they're gonna show on top as an overlay. Overall, it's a really cool, nice aesthetic app for charging up your device. App number two is Backdrops. If you haven't heard about Backdrops, you must be crazy, but basically this is an app you can pick up on Android and iOS because every app in this video is, what am I talking about? But the point is, it's just a really stunning wallpaper app, almost like I would say nine out of 10 of my wallpapers come from backdrops. So whenever you guys watch a video, you're like, oh Matt, where'd you get that wallpaper? Backdrops, backdrops, oh, and backdrops. But yeah, jumping into the app, there's this really great explore page and there's some really stunning wallpapers in here. What I really love about this app is all the wallpapers are kind of like vector artwork. They're like graphical rather than actual pictures. And they're just so colorful, you know, they look so like punchy. And if you're viewing these on an OLED screen, they're just gonna really like pop right out of your phone. Um, they just look so stunning. And you can go favorite them. So if you wanna find them later on, you can. I have this favorite section here and Basically, you just click on one you like, you can save it, favorite it, set it directly through the app. It's a great wallpaper app. And obviously, you might wanna check it out on the iPhone because there's less customization, so wallpapers are pretty much all you've got. App number three is called Fing. This is basically a network utility tool that allows you to scan through your network and find all the devices connected. This can be kind of handy if you're trying to find if someone's like snooping on your connection and maybe your neighbor's using it whatever, you can find it inside this app. And if you're looking specifically for an IP address or a MAC address, because you wanna block the device, clicking on it will reveal some more information. So you can go and find out some more detailed information, which can allow you to go and block it in your admin settings for your router. The app also tells you some security vulnerabilities and it can actually alert you if there's any network outages around and about your area. App number four is Google Keep. So basically there's not many no apps which work across both platforms. And primarily on my iPhone, I do use the Apple Notes app, but if there's any specific information I wanna be able to access on both, I'll always jump over to Google Keep because it's available on my Apple Watch, on my iPad, on my iPhone, on my Android device, and I can even access it on my desktop through Chrome. So it's pretty accessible if I need to find something specifically on any device. So yeah, inside the app is just super clean way of creating notes. You can click this plus button, you can create a new note, add your title, you can add a color to it, and you can add a background as well, which is nice. So you can make it look pretty elegant. So YouTube note test. Hey guys, subscribe. And there we go, we have a new note. You can pin the note, you can add notifications, you can add it to your calendar. There's a, there's a lot of things you can do in here. There's a dark mode and yeah, overall it's just a pretty good app. You can add checkboxes as well. So if you're doing your shopping, you can go and tick them off while you actually get the item. So yeah, I love it. Great note app. I couldn't use any other note app. It's just, it's the one, it, it's the one. Trust me guys. App number five is Aftership. A lot of people send me stuff and it gets kind of confusing. I'm not gonna lie. There's so many tracking numbers and my inbox gets completely full of stuff. Aftership is a lifesaver. So basically you log in through your Google account. It will automatically go and get all the tracking information from your emails and it will import it into the app, which saves you a ton of time or you can manually import it yourself. Then in here, you can just view all your shipments. So you can view like the tracking number, the company they're being sent from, you can click on it and it will open the official website to view more information. Or you can actually get live information in the app. If it's say Amazon, you can see the transit times and you can see all like the log notes. 
and the price and the tracking number and everything like that. So, so yeah, it's just a great way of tracking all your packages in one place. And it's just super nice being able to use it on my Android and on my iPhone. So uh, yeah. So app number six is one that is not talked about a lot. I see ads for this and people are commenting, oh, it's fake, it doesn't work, but it really, it does work. I've used it and it's amazing. So if you wanna actually enhance some images that are pixelated or just bad quality, Remini is where it's at. All you do is you jump in the app, you click on enhance, and then it will actually allow you to pick a picture from your gallery, your camera roll, whatever. Go ahead and choose a blurry picture and it's gonna enhance it and make it look super, super crispy. There's also a video enhancer and there's some other tools, but they're paid and you get five enhances per day for free, which I think is pretty good. You can create other accounts and kind of get around it super easy, but yeah, it's a great way of enhancing your images. So app number seven is unscripted. I featured this in a top app video and it's an amazing app for photographers who just want some more tips on maybe positioning of the people you're shooting or the equipment you need or your camera settings. This app has you covered and it can actually allow you to add your various clients, the type of shoot you're doing for them, the deadlines, the cost, the price they're paying you. You can even add notes, but that's not the best part. You can obviously go in here, click on say Sun Tracker. It's gonna tell you when you're gonna get your golden hour. So if you wanna get some of those nice shots at sunset or sunrise, you can go find out the exact timing. One of my personal favorite features is the camera settings guide. This app actually tells you what settings you need in your manual camera mode, and it's really, really good. So if it's a cloudy outside or bright, it's gonna tell you what you need. It's gonna tell you your aperture needs to be f 2.0, your shutter speed needs to be one over 350, your ISO needs to be 200 to 600. It's even gonna tell you the white balance required. And yeah, it's just super helpful in getting those nice shots, especially for beginners or people who aren't sure about how to like use the settings properly. This is a great app. It basically is packed full of stuff for beginners to professionals. And this is not sponsored. I just really love it as a photographer. So go check out Unscripted. So number eight is Whisk. I absolutely love baking stuff, whether it be scones or pancakes or banana bread. It's super fun to bake things. It just tastes really good. And I love the experience of actually making it yourself. So Whisk is a recipe app as well as community. So when you jump in the app, you can search for specific recipes and people in the community can actually share their own versions of the recipe. And there's this system of like commenting, you can like things and it's just really cool. Jumping into the actual recipes, you can actually adjust the serving size you're going for and it will tell you how to adjust the ingredients in order to get that specific serving size. And you can convert your units for metric or imperial. There is more detailed instructions. It can bring you to the official website. You can bookmark things. You can even paste in a link from a website online and it will go grab all the ingredients from the website and configure it into this really nice UI. This is super easy and simple to read. So as you can see in my save section, I've got this really nice butternut squash recipe. Super delicious. So if you wanna make some butternut squash, BBC Good Food have a really great recipe. There's a planner in here as well. So if you wanna to plan to make something specifically, maybe of like a family gathering or something, you can put that in the planner and you can make a super delicious dish. There's also even a shopping list section in here. So you can add all the ingredients you need directly from the recipe and you can go out and buy them. But there's so many different communities you can join, whether it's vegan friendly communities or TikTok communities, you can join them and get awesome recipes and share them around with other people. So app number nine is petrol prices. Why are they so damn high? Petrol prices are just going up and up, super, super expensive to drive anywhere. And this app is a great way of finding out the cheapest place you can pick up fuel. So on the main page, there's actually this map section. So you can view on a map where you can pick up the fuel the cheapest, or you can view it in a list form, which I really like. It just tells you, uh, the cheapest, how far away it is, and what brand it is, everything like that. You can obviously sort, you can change the location. So if you're going somewhere specifically and you're like, oh, I need to get fuel, you can actually put it in the map. Really great way of just finding out the cheapest fuel prices. And you can even add in your vehicle. It can tell you the miles per gallon you're getting. So uh, yeah, uh, petrol prices is a pretty awesome app for 2022. It's definitely needed in the UK. Okay, and this last app on the list is called Too Good To Go. 
you guys ever like went somewhere and they've got a bunch of food waste, they can use this app in order to sell it to you for super cheap. So I actually found out about this the other day when I was getting a coffee and they had a bag of stuff and they were like, yeah, if you get this app, we can like give you it for like three pound. And I got this huge bag of stuff. You can pick it up from Starbucks or Costa or Marks and Spencer's or anywhere really that signs up for this app. And you can get like a bunch of their sandwiches, cakes, drinks, whatever it may be that's on like the end of life date and you can get it really cheap. So it's really great if you have some family or friends and you can just club together and, you know, eat it for lunch, eat it for dinner, whatever. I've been using it and it's super great. So inside the app, you can see all the places nearby. So we can see Starbucks here. We can see the time frame. So obviously it's at the end of the day that they sell this stuff when they close. And you can go and see, it's kind of like a random bag normally of stuff because they don't know what they're gonna have. It's £3.59 and it tells you you could get like yogurts, sweet treats, juices, healthy snacks, paninis, bagels. There's so many things you can actually get in these random bags and it can be kind of exciting. It's just a really great way of reducing waste and it's super cheap and I guess the cafes can make a little bit of money from it as well rather than just throwing it out. So I guess everyone wins a great app for iOS and Android, and that's a great app to finish off this video. So like I said, you know, we're starting a new channel, filmmaking stuff is going on, so if you wanna to subscribe to that, the link will be down below. But let me know what you think about these apps. They're not like the absolute best apps for Android or the best apps for iOS, they're just the best apps for both. So, you know, keep that in mind. But anyway guys, have a nice day, I'll see you later.